Hey everyone, it's Coach Dave here, and today I want to show you around our massive update to Delta. It's Delta version 2. We called it Record internally, that was our code name, because now we're recording a whole bunch of stuff beyond setups. We're recording your lap times, we're showing you a whole bunch of events from SimGrid that you've signed up to, um, and a bunch of other cool features that I want to run you through today. So what we're going to do is I'm going to give you a preview of the new interface, we're going to do some laps, and then I'm going to show you how you can maximize the use of Delta um, in your day-to-day -day driving, whether it's practice racing uh, or just hot lapping. So let's jump straight into it. This is the new interface. We've got um, a whole bunch of stuff going on here. So you can see it's much more different to what you used to have, which was just, just setups. Delta goes far beyond setups now. We want to now show you much more about what you are doing with your driving. It's not a tele telemetry app though. This is more like what I experience in real life with my engineer. He has a really cool spreadsheet where he's tracking all the conditions of our laps and what uh, like what tires we use, the fuel that we had in the car, etc. And that's where we're going to be leaning towards with Delta 2.0. But when you go into the app for the first time, you'll be presented with a brand new screen where you can also connect your SimGrid account. And when you do that, you'll see that you get your grid rating at the top of the screen. You also get a whole bunch of events that you signed up to. And we show you your three races that will be upcoming. We also have uh, the two apps or games, Sims, that um, are now being tracked inside of Delta. We hope to add more over time. And then on the left hand side, there's a link to our new Neverlift course. And down here is a link to setup help. Should you need help with your setups, with Delta, etc., it will now open up the Coach Dave site with some self help documentation and so on. But for this demonstration, I want us to go into uh, ACC. We're going to do a couple of laps there around Imola in the Ferrari and then also compare those laps to another car to determine which one we should be using for an upcoming event. So now what we have here is Delta is waiting for a session from ACC. So I'm just going to jump into ACC quick and uh, start up a session with the car track combination that I just mentioned. So now you'll see that we've entered a session with Imola in the 296. And I just want to run you through the interface before we actually start to do any laps. So on the left hand side, we've got all the track information, time of day, grip, uh, air and track temperature, and also track wetness, you know, the amount of rainfall that's going to be happening. Obviously in iRacing this isn't ready yet, but in ACC you can track that. We also have a leaderboard. This is pulling in lap times from the sim grid and will populate, become richer over time as we start to integrate lap times that are being pulled from uh, Delta and will be shared on, on your SimGrid profile as well if you've connected your account. We also have a friends leaderboard. Okay, so right now I don't have any friends because we're doing this demo just before launch, but a new feature that's gonna go live uh, with SimGrid is that you're gonna have the ability to find friends, follow them, follow your teammates, etc. Then on the right hand side, we've got all your setups. So each setup that Coach Dave has created for this track combination will be automatically added to your setup folders on the fly. And on the right hand side is a summary um, of all those setups that have been added. And if you click on any of them, you can get stuff like setup notes, the popometer data, Motec data, etc. All right, next step, we've got to do some laps so I can show you the recording interface and explain to you the benefits um, of what we've built. Okay, so I've just finished my run. I'm just going to return to the garage and then uh, we're going to run through what you see in Delta. So now that my run is completed, we have a whole new element to the interface. And this is stint tracking. We track just like we do in real life. Um, each stint from when you leave the pits and re-enter the pits, we group that into a lap time sort of sequence and analyze that in isolation from everything else. Because it could be that in stint one, you went out and used tires in a full tank, and in stint two, you went out on a brand new set of tires and a, and a low fuel tank. So that data is, is different, and that's why we break it up down into these stints. The stints will be organized in accordions. So you can see here, I collapse the accordions, and it can expand them um, depending. And then as you're doing more stints, that the, the accordions will build up. All right, now if we analyze our laps, we've got the outlap. Um, it, and per lap, we do 
sort of track status, track analysis um, of wetness uh, or the amount of rain, track temp, air temp, and the fuel used. We use that fuel usage to show you um, a fuel calculator. So down here now, we have a fuel calculator. It takes in your session average, and as well as um, the amount of laps that you've done, your best lap, etc., and it helps you predefine how much fuel you should be putting into the tank for different race durations. And the template that we're using here is a full stint, and then the two LFM stints that you see in ACC, and for iRacing will be based on laps. So here, if I click 45 minutes, immediately I will know how much fuel I need to do uh, add to the car on the grid for a 45 minute race in LFM. Going back to the stint analysis on the right hand side, we've got our average, best and optimal lap times. We also have um, the tire pressures. Currently, this is the average tire pressures over the stint. And uh, this is how we reference it in real life. But we are debating, you know, and this will come down to personal preference, whether or not we should be showing peak tire pressures or the averages. Right now, it shows the averages, which will help you make a better decision on what tire pressures you should be running in the stint. Keep in mind that Delta does Delta does automatically adjust your tire pressures based on track temperature, but if you need to make adjustments along the way, you can do so, um, and this is information that will help you make a better informed decision. Next up is my favorite uh, widget that we have in the app at the moment. It's the handling widget. This will tell you whether you have oversteer or understeer at high or low speed. We're not just determining that via the amount of steering angle that you have, but also um, slip angle, pitch, and yaw. So combining all of these values in ACC, it's not yet ready for iRacing, we're able to give you a general overview of the handling of your car. So in this case, I have a neutral car at high speed and a slightly understeery car at low speed. If I have oversteer, uh, these sliders will turn blue. Next up, we have track accuracy. That was a good stint for me. It's something I'm working on, is just to improve my accuracy and avoid track limits um, while on, on circuits. Uh, luckily in this run, it was all green. And then finally, another widget that we have here is total fuel consumed in that stint, which will just help you better understand your fuel consumption and so on. So now this is a run in the Ferrari 296 around Imola, but as you'll see up here, we have a tabbed interface. So I'm now gonna to explain to you the benefits of the tabbed interface. Be right back. The next feature I wanna show you is very unique to Delta. And this is the ability to compare your runs in different cars. So let's say you want to um, decide on which car to choose for a new championship. You're not sure, you're not sure on the BOP, you're not sure on the handling and so on. Or you just want to go have some fun in the online lobbies, but you're not sure which is the best car to do, to choose. Delta now gives you the opportunity to uh, decide which car to use. So here is my run in uh, the 296 at Imola, and you'll see we, again, as mentioned earlier, we have this tabbed interface. One of the cool things with Delta is that you can now click between your tabs, between your two runs to compare which car you perform better in. And because we're giving you more detail, it's not just about the lap times. So in the Ferrari, my best lap was a 42.6. Admittedly, this is just a demonstration run. So the Mercedes, I did a, a four lap run, uh, three flying laps, including the, the out lap is four laps and I did a 43.1. But more importantly to me is that the handling was more on the neutral side. So in this scenario, I had a little bit of oversteer. To be honest, it felt a little bit more than that um, in the slow speed and a neutral car in the high speed. Whereas at the Ferrari, I had a little bit of understeer at slow speed, neutral, neutral car at high speed. And this kind of detail is gonna help me make a better decision about which car I wanna run. But for the first time, it's now plain to see and it's in a unified interface. So the comparison interface in Delta is one of the features I'm most excited about. Once you finish with all your runs and you've quit back to the main screen, you can always go back and view them later in the session history. Very soon, we'll be able to make this possible that you can click 
on any of these records and we'll reopen the interface um, so you can do analysis further down the line. So there you have it. That's Delta 2.0. I hope you liked the demonstration. Good luck with the app. I know that you're going to enjoy it and um, we're co going to constantly be making improvements. But until the next one, catch you on the next lap. Peace.